We are back right now, new tonight at 6 o'clock. More help to combat teen crime here in our state. Governor Ned Lamont saying today that judges will have access to more information when ruling on whether to detain some young offenders. And this change comes as many people around the state are demanding action to stop thefts made by teens. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is live now from the Capitol with more on these details. Mike? Mark and Roger, this is something that Republicans and police chiefs have been asking for, giving uh, judges access to these criminal history records. But there was a group of Democrats today who say that the answer to this issue really needs to start with more funding for diversionary programs. For those who are more chronic offenders, make sure they're not um, able to uh, repeat that waiting for their court case. Today, Governor Ned Lamont announced a change aimed at lowering the rate of stolen cars by juveniles. Judges will now have 24-7 access to a juvenile's criminal history that will help them when ruling on police detainment requests. To make sure the judges know the difference between that first-time offender who's just doing something stupid and can um, make the appropriate um, uh, response to that, and that chronic repeat offender. But today, a group of Democrats and advocates said the first steps should be funding for counseling and programs, not detention. What's needed is to make sure that the funds that the legislature and then the governor signed are being um, dispersed. Advocates say car thefts is a nationwide problem, noting reported thefts were up 9% in 2020. State police have not released Connecticut stats for 2020 yet, but reported vehicle thefts were at a 50-year low in 2019. Advocates claim that shows juvenile justice reforms approved 10 years earlier are not the problem. This conversation started with putting out information that was inaccurate. They also say police need more training on existing laws, including how to get a detention order. But Republicans maintain other changes are needed. House Republican Craig Fishbein wants to see mandatory fingerprinting for juveniles, GPS monitoring for repeat offenders, arraignments earlier after arrests, and he agrees giving law enforcement or judges access to a criminal history is a good thing. He also doesn't think the pandemic is the reason for the rise in recent car thefts. Troubled that that's the result of a pandemic as opposed to a cultural shift of some manner. Now, we don't know how often police departments request these de uh, detainment orders, and we also don't know how often judges reject them. A new state law requires the judiciary branch to start tracking that information this fall. But as of right now, it does not require judges to give a reason for a refusal. Live from the Capitol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you very much. Coming up next for you.